When seconds matter, situational awareness and accurate information is vital to timely and effective response. Planning and preparing for disaster situations begins well before there's a threat. When planning for a uh, hurricane, we don't wait till the event. On a day-to-day -day, uh, effort, we're, we're actually identifying, and prioritizing, and protecting critical infrastructure. And what ACAMS enables us to do is have all the partners look at the same information together so we can work as a unified team. The Constellation Automated Critical Asset Management System, otherwise known as ACAMS, is a tool offered by the Department of Homeland Security's Office of Infrastructure Protection and is provided at no cost to the men and women who are our first line of defense at the state and local levels and is designed specifically for their unique needs. Having Super Bowl in, in 2008, we actually had um, several venues that we had to look at prior to Super Bowl, and that all went to ACAMS. That means bringing all the tools to process the capabilities that we, we can help provide, or we do provide to, to state and local, and to help them in their protection planning efforts. So it involves everything from identification, and uh, we may tap into ACAMS to look at the infrastructure around the venue sites or other significant areas that may be relevant to the special event. In a situation like planning for a Super Bowl, other large-scale events, or crisis situations, ACAMS is a vital component of critical infrastructure protection planning. It assists in the preparation, prevention, and mitigation of disasters by providing emergency responders with a comprehensive set of infrastructure protection tools and resources in one central location. We knew the venues that we really needed to look at for Super Bowl. Not only the stadium, but the hotels, restaurants, where the public would gather. And putting that into ACAMS, that was instant information for us. After information gaps are identified, collection efforts are launched to complete the asset profile. Because most infrastructure is privately owned, collecting accurate and reliable critical infrastructure information requires a partnership between the government and the private sector. When planning for the Super Bowl, it's crucial to have the private sector at the table. Uh, we spend a lot of time meeting with the venue sites that are all privately owned, and we have to uh, say, look, okay, how, how's my information going to be protected? And then that's when we talk about PCII. Sensitive or proprietary information provided by the private sector is then protected from public disclosure under the PCII program. These congressionally mandated protections are integrated into ACAMS and ensure that validated information receives protection from FOIA, state, and local disclosure and from use in civil litigation. The value of PCII, it, it protects that information sharing. We're all looking at more information that's useful for pre-incident and post-incident type activities. Understanding the big picture and how assets are interlinked is vital to effective planning, response, and recovery. ACAMS is linked to the Integrated Common Analytical Viewer, or ICAV, which allows users to visualize ACAMS data in a dynamic map. Viewing ACAMS data through a geospatial lens allows users to see how their assets relate to nearby infrastructures. ICAV also provides users access to additional information feeds to build or enhance real-time situational awareness. Having an overall picture from ICAV is a huge benefit to the guy on the ground because one, it allows them to reallocate resources uh, in the field. It gives them that common operational picture. It allows them to plan ahead and it also gives them that whereabouts, what's going on, where do I need to go next. Designed for easy data input, ACAMS allows users to add as much or as little asset information as needed. Beyond ease of use, time is saved by users with the availability of standardized reporting forms to include the approved buffer zone forms with autofill fields. Another benefit is that ACAMS is available online via a secure, password-protected website. This makes data accessible at any time from any location, whether a desk, the scene of a disaster, or a command center. All of the tools and capabilities built into ACAMS are discussed in the training course conducted by DHS. The CAPTAP training course provides instruction on the use of ACAMS, as well as the role ACAMS can play in developing a critical infrastructure plan at the state and local level. When armed with the information in ACAMS, responding to this or this, Homeland Security officials, emergency managers, and first responders are better equipped to act when an incident occurs and enable a speedy recovery.
All of that means stronger protection and saving lives when disaster strikes.